Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Rock Life, the Rock Simulator. Let's become Rock. We have become Rock achievement. There we go. There's something oddly satisfying about a rock in the middle of grass waving in the breeze. Just sitting there, strong. That's why we use that's why we use a stone as a, a reference point for something strong. Not just getting pushed around by the the weight the wind. We can change rock as well, if we want to, so we could be any other type of rock we want to be. I don't think we can move the camera. I think this is just the only view we have. But there's so many different rocks, I guess. So many different things. Oh my goodness, googly eyes. So many different rocks that we don't even realize that, the, that there are. There's looping now, but still. We are rock. We are strong. We can also change scene, I guess, so it could be in different other things, but I think probably just best to be in the middle of the grass because that really gives you the full experience of being a rock. Like a rock will stand for who knows how many hundreds of years just in the same general space probably just, just living its life as a rock as the rest of the time flows for us just as it would be. We, we, we stress every day, and we try to put our all into life, and the rock just is its life. Just, it just is, and it, it doesn't feel stress. It doesn't, it doesn't really feel that much at all, but if it could feel, it'd probably feel like or I guess just watching the world around it every new thing interesting everything that it sees every day just even if it's the same just blowing wind and the w the grass moving trees the sky just watching and it's it doesn't really get old it's just the experience that it has, that's all it knows, so it doesn't know how to feel uh, bored, I guess. So a rock just enjoys its surroundings, and it is, it is part of that. A rock could even, if it was sentient, could spend its time figuring out that it's sentient, and like realize it is something, and it's part of something bigger. Um, you might wonder why. Like, why is it here? Why is it a rock? Why doesn't it get pushed around? Why is it strong? Why is it considered strong? What does it mean to be weak? All these things are, are the experience of a rock. You know, we don't slow down to take in what we have as much as a rock could. A rock has as much time as it needs to figure out what it is. And it has to figure out what it is in a way that it is happy with. Even if it doesn't know what happy even is. Or if it, if it doesn't know what sadness is. But it wonders these things, if it could wonder. What, what are all the experiences? That just breeze by. Like, what if it was grass? What would it be like to be moved by the wind? What would it mean to even comprehend what time is as a rock? As you, it just sits there watching. It doesn't move. Its entire experience of time is what it can see, what it can hear, what it can feel. Time isn't even a physical thing to a rock. Time is... Time is just 
what it is. Time is a rock, basically. But the rock over time would also probably sh uh, shift position just as the, the world around it moves. And possibly it might even change its shape as well. It could move, be, by, be moved by something. By like a, a person, an animal, the, the just weather, the plants around it, the, even the wind might even eventually be able to push the rock because of something else happening. And the rock would also see animals, I guess, as well. And the animals won't think much of the rock, but the rock will think so much of the animals. Because it's something that it hasn't had that much experience with. Every time it sees an animal, it could measure the time between those, like, the last time it saw an animal. It could wonder where the animals go, where the wind comes from. Why does the, the, the day and night happen? Why does the weather? <laughs> why does the weather? Does the, why was it born as a rock to feel the, all these things? A rock is actually probably the perspective that we've never really thought that much about just because it's a rock. But the rock has probably thought about us more than we have about it. And that's just fascinating. Just stopping to do nothing, just sit here thinking about stuff, just talking about it. A rock doesn't have that opportunity to express itself, but it, it expresses itself by not expressing itself. It expresses itself in other things that can express themselves, realizing that the rock is what, or, or what it is. It experiences so much more than we could ever experience, probably. Just from sitting there as a rock because it doesn't have to do anything it just has to experience it could experience so many things <coughs> dying it's fine uh of which a rock wouldn't be able to die <laughs> random tangent but the rock just is a rock <sighs> i'm running out of things to say hang on i have to keep this going it's going good we're eight, eight minutes in. There's an achievement for going through this game. Like, there's a few achievements for this game, by the way. Uh, there's one for going 20 hours straight as of the rock. And there's a an achievement for 100 hours being rock. But the rock, again, has no sense of time. So, all that just means the same thing to it. I mean, like... All that time could be basically a snap second, a snap experience to a rock, because it can take in so much more information for such a long time, and go on forever, that any amount of time is just a snap. Just short and long at the same time. And how would a rock even try to comprehend its coming into existence. Like, it's just always been a rock. It's always been able to experience the world around it. It's really fascinating. Just the perspective of a rock. But how would a, a rock know what sound is, what music is. What Both of those could be the same thing. It, every sound could be music to a rock. The rustling of grass, leaves, the birds, the, the wind, just anything that could happen to a rock over its whole lifespan, which could really go on forever since a rock doesn't really go away, it just takes other forms, which it can then experience. Like if I wanted to take a rock, and I wanted to 
use it as part of a building. It then experiences the building. Whatever happens inside the building, what happens outside the building, what happens to the building itself over time as the building lives its life, its own life, and then dies. The rock will still remain. It's, it could even be reused for something else. It could be used in war, it could be used as a tool, it can be used as just any kind of, like, it, it could be as a, as a material for whatever it needs to be used at for. It could go deep underground, it could go up, like, up onto the surface, it could go into the air. It could experience so many things that over time would just be normal, since a rock can just experience forever. But it's fascinating because rocks have experienced that forever, basically. They've experienced uh, the, the whole world in their lifetime. From the beginning, and it'll probably, they'll, there'll be rocks to the end. Some rocks have probably never experienced some things that other rocks have experienced. And that is crazy to think about. That some rocks are just unable to experience, but they or experience the same things as other rocks, but they probably still experience their life as a rock. Like underground, they could they could see nothing, but they could feel the the earth move. It could understand that it's in darkness. It could understand the feeling around itself. It could it could probably. I mean, this is going out on a, on a limb, but it could talk to other rocks. Um, and the, the Chinese whispers the other rocks experience of the world. And that, in that way, the any, any, every rock would experience the world in so many ways. And it's interesting to think about the rocks changing their experience over time. Like, if a rock saw the surface for the first time, Everything would be different. Everything would change. Its whole experience is new and interesting to a rock because it's already experienced so much other stuff, but now it's experienced this new thing, which it then can experience forever, basically. The, the, a rock will never... Like, we think of a rock and it's like, well, it's just sitting there. But a rock will experience forever and just every moment as a rock is different. Each, like, time the wind blows, the, the, the grass isn't going to blow the same way. And that could be satisfying to a rock to witness, to watch. But to us, it's just grass blowing. We don't experience things to their fullest potential. We experience things like a, gl a glance and that's it. We, will, we, we could take a picture. And that would be the tiniest amount of experience that we could ever have with that photo. We've probably like seen photos for the last time we'll ever see them in any Google search. We will see them once, never see them again, but the, but the rock will see every picture, every single one, and it's gonna remember it forever. It's gonna see everything it can possibly see, hear everything it can possibly hear. All the different combinations of things, all at, in every kind of way. But after all that time, it's 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 still a rock. It still can't experience things any differently, but it still experiences everything at the same time. What would a rock think about... I don't know. Being cut in half, I guess. I don't know. Would it be two rocks, or would it be still one rock experiencing two things? Would it just stop being a rock entirely? What makes a rock a rock, after all? Is it just being a certain material, or is it being full, strong? All the things that we think about a rock. The rock wouldn't know, so it would probably just be two rocks. Or be one rock, but just in two pieces. Every rock could just be one rock, which I guess would make sense. But then you have to also think about rocks that aren't 
have never been together, basically. So, like, uh, when a meteor hits the planet that the Earth, that the rock is, basically, uh, are they the same rock, or are they two rocks that will eventually become one rock that are also just gonna experience so many different things together? They'll experience each other. They, they will experience something that nothing else can experience. Well, I guess it can. Uh, other things can experience. It can experience something completely different. And that is something like itself. I mean, we see other people every day, but we actually don't think of it the same way a rock meeting another, another rock would. It would be a life-changing experience for both of those rocks. As they're both now together. And they're not going to go apart for possibly forever. Some rocks will... Like, if it would, we're talking about space entities now. Which couldn't go even crazier when we think about asteroids. Because they're just out there in space. And they can see each other. And they can experience... The, the space around them, the emptiness, but they can also see other rocks that maybe they once were part of. Or maybe they've just never been together, but they ended up in the same place, just... just looking at each other, basically. It would be so different from a rock in a field right now. And I want, I want the game developers to see this video and add the option to be in space, so you can just experience that as a rock, completely different thing. I want them to add so many more things to this game. And I've just been playing it for like 18 minutes now. Just making stuff up. But I've... Uh, processed so much more... By being a rock. That I've probably... Thought about... In like... Years probably. Because we don't take the time to think about ourselves in the world that we live in because we're too busy doing other things we're too busy experiencing to really experience everything we could experience so much if we just opened our eyes and took in everything because that's all a rock can do is it can take in everything It can see, like, a, a rock in space can see so many other things. So many other places, so many other stars, planets, galaxies. And it won't be able to experience them up close. I mean, it could eventually with enough time, but that's, that's beyond our comprehension of experience. The, the rock can experience everything in the known universe. An unknown universe, probably, as well. Just given enough time, which, to a rock we've already established, would just be a snap, so... It could experience everything. It could, like, each rock coming together, going apart, spreading out and coming together. Over and over again. Forever. Every rock could experience everything. But I guess even if the rocks are separate, they're still experiencing things, even if it's just in space. But and, and they come together and they can they can ex like tell each other the experiences that they've had apart from each other. They can tell experiences of the other rocks that they've met along the way. They can tell so many stories of everything in the universe. They can just experience so much, and they, it's just a rock. We, un we un rocks are underappreciated. Rocks are incredible. The rocks are basically the universe. We should have a rock on our desk to remind us how much they experience, how much they mean to the universe, how much they mean to just themselves. Even if they're just a rock, they can they, and they don't ex like they're not aware, they're not living with they're not anything like that. They're still experiencing way more than us. Or anything else. I mean, animals, yeah, they will... They'll live, but they'll die. And I guess that material 
is still inside the universe. But, like, as animals and stuff, we don't remember before we existed, basically. We just have what the others that are still here have experienced and have passed down. And not all of that is going to get passed down as much as a rock could pass down. A rock could pass down every other rock's conversation that it's ever had. Every rock could have just been one rock at one point. And then slowly, over time, have gone in every direction. Even though that's probably <laughs> unlikely. But it, it just... Even if they weren't, if they were just separate from the whole event, like, the whole of time. They could have just been separate. And they would experience infinite m m experiences. And then they can, they'll split up and go in all different directions. They'll tell their history to their other rocks. For just, oh, it's, this is a lot more thought than I thought was going to be out in this, but I'm enjoying this. I really want to get a rock on my desk now, just to think about what the rock has experienced. I could just pick up any rock from outside, even if it's just a small one. Just a random rock. And it will remind me that this rock has been around forever. And it's come into contact with so many other rocks, so many other people, so many other animals, so many other experiences. And it's experienced everything, basically. The other rocks have communicated with this other rock, in theory. And this rock knows what all the other rocks have passed on from even other rocks. Like rocks passing on to rocks, passing on to rocks, have passed on to this one rock. All of the knowledge in the universe. And these rocks could even, you know, hear this right now, what I'm saying right now. And they could understand even more of themselves just by understanding that they are a rock. And that, that experience of them being told that they're a rock and that they experience everything basically forever, and that will get passed down forever for each rock because that's a new experience to them, probably. <laughs> but each rock will get told this story of how they, they could have been apart together all around the world, the universe. And it might even take forever for some of those rocks to even get told that by another rock. It might not even ever happen depending on when the world just ends. But the rock wouldn't really worry about that because the rock has always been around. The rock isn't going to understand an end, basically. Because the rock has been there forever. So it doesn't understand that there could be an end, basically. Why would it end if it's kept going this long? Each, with, with the un understanding of time being non-existent to a rock, the whole span of the universe's life, every experience that this rock has, will be a snap. And the world is, it has lived, and it's lived, and it's lived, and it's lived, and it's lived for so long, but it's gone now. And it was just this tiny, tiny experience. Which makes the world that we live in so much more interesting because everything that we see, everything that we do, is a new experience. Every picture of a waterfall is the same, like, it's the same waterfall, but it's completely different. No, no two pictures of a waterfall are going to be the same. Unless you copy and paste, but that doesn't count. Oh. Hang on, just let me, let me breathe for a second and drink some tea because I made this before I started and I should probably finish it. I wasn't expecting to go into this and have this much thought, but now this rock in this field means so much more to me. And it's going to keep meaning so much more to me and it's going to mean even more the more I think about this rock. Every second becomes satisfying from the perspective of a rock. 
Even, even silence, nothingness, is interesting. Every every little second has meaning. Even if a rock's perspective of time is just a blip, it still experiences everything. In a different way. It'd be interesting to be a rock and just look up at the sky. Watching the clouds move. Watching the the, the planets. The, the sun going up, the moon, like the sun going down, the moon changing its position. But maybe some of the stars will disappear in that rock's lifetime. In a wonder, what happened? Was that a rock? I mean, it, pro probably not exactly, but it will know that there are other rocks out there that could be breaking apart, coming together. And it could wonder what's act like, what that's like. What it is to experience the other rocks. And it won't know, but it will be, it will eventually know with enough time. A rock will watch the seasons go by. Every season, just passing, the in each one changing the world around that one rock I mean and all the rocks will experience the the different seasons and possibly even comple completely different seasons on different planets or whatever I don't know I don't know if that's a real thing but each each planet is gonna have a different atmosphere it's gonna have a different day cycle it's gonna have a different view of the stars like imagine if a rock in its position could make the conscious understanding to make constellations out of the stars it's, look, it's looking at. I mean, with enough time, it could probably see the stars make con constellations by being in line with each other or something like that. It'd be such a rare opportunity for that one rock to experience and no other rock. Just, yeah. Just look at, like, your hand. Every, every second of your hand will never be the same. It's gonna always be in a different position. It's gonna be at a different state. Like, the Earth is moving and it's, it's spinning as well, so it, it's definitely changing its position. Just... Every, every experience... I've said experience a lot, but that's the point, because it's it's so easy to uh, just think of something that you do or, or say, something you experience, and you think it's the same experience that you've already experienced a thousand times. But no, every experience is different. Every rock is going to experience different things. Every rock is going to have a different experience every experience. Like, every second. We need to slow down. And understand that. I I couldn't I, I I really didn't think I could recommend this game more than this. Because this game is again, it's a it's a different experience. Yeah. And you you will experience it for however long you want. And it, whenever you stop experiencing it, you can experience something else. Oh, excuse me. But it's good to experience this rock. Because then you can experience other things. As a rock would. You will enjoy the world that you are in. Even if you didn't choose to be in that world, like a rock. You will still experience it. You have no choice. It's just, it's just the way it works. And it, you will enjoy it because that's just how, you, how you've known it. If you don't, if you don't enjoy that experience, you're still experiencing that experience of being unhappy at your experience. And eventually, whether you like it or not, you'll, you'll come to understand that that being a unique experience 
is something to treasure. Something to hold on to for your whole life. And to tell the next person so that they can experience the same experience that you have, maybe. Except that for them, it's going to be a different experience and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be incredible. Just sitting here listening to the music and the watching the grass move. That's all there is in this game, except I've experienced so much more. Just by thinking about it. I'm being a rock. And I'm realizing just how much there is to experience by doing nothing. Because you're not doing nothing. <laughs> There's no such thing as nothing. The world, you experience everything all the time. You just need to experience it as a new experience. And this game has- I'm, I'm glad- I'm kind of glad that this game has the achievement for going to 100 hours. Just because that means that you're gonna experience- hang on, let me check this quickly. Because I can't maths in my head. But 100 hours of experiences that you'll never experience again, but you can tell those experiences to other people, and they'll experience that. I want, I want that to be like an achievement for experience now. Hang on, I'm trying to find my calculator so I can work this out. So, 100 hours divided by 60 minutes, divided by 60 seconds. I don't even know how to explain this number. <laughs> Hang on. It's every point zero two. I don't think that's quite how it was going for. It's fine. I, no, I'm probably doing it wrong, aren't I? It's fine. No, it needs to be the timesing, doesn't it? 100 times 60 times 60. 360,000 seconds? I, it, I'm probably wrong about that calculation, but me getting it right and me getting it wrong is a different experience that I'm, I should treasure because I'm experiencing it, I guess. We should be thankful for every experience we have, whether it's good or bad. Because we only have it once. We should make the most of it and try to make the next experience the best one we can possibly have. I'd love to keep going on about this forever and this and all that. I mean, this game does want me to have the game open for 100 hours straight without closing the game. Also, I can hide the UI. <laughs> I should probably have done that so I can just... Yeah, just press H to hide the UI. This game is also multiplayer, so you can experience being a rock together, and I, I'd, I'd highly recommend that. Get the 100 hours achievement together. Experience 100 hours with another, another rock. Maybe another two rocks, another three rocks. You could have 100, 100 rocks, I don't know how many, I don't know what the, the player limit is, but anyway. You could, ex you could experience infinitely different things with other other rocks and you can you can all do it in a hundred hours imagine a hundred hours with another person you'd probably not like them but I mean like not counting like saying saying we're not having any sleep for this experience you are with them a hundred hours you probably get to know them pretty well you probably figure out things the, the way that they are the way that they experience themselves the way that they th they see themselves, the way that you see them, it's 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 so incredible that we, that we could experience that, but we 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 wave, we wave it off because why would we want to experience that? Because it's 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 not that interesting of an experience, but it's such a unique thing every single time. And if those those if these two people knew that it was a unique experience, 
they would try to make the most of it. They would try to tell each other their story, their... What they've been before being that rock with that an another rock. Even if they don't remember everything, they can talk about it. That's another thing that's kind of interesting about being a rock for that long is you, you, you forget it, probably, but that's probably because you choose to forget it. You don't choose to remember something. Un unless you really want to. That's, that's what I'm saying. So, you should try to ex experience every second in a, in a way that you will remember forever. Which, I guess to us, that means that we could, like our entire life, is going to be a blip. And we'll remember it. But anyway, I, I really need to, <laughs> I need to stop now. Uh, yeah. This has been, this has been really good. I wasn't expecting to talk this much. Considering this is longer than the the video that I scripted and this has just been me rambling. And there's so much more I could ramble about in this because this everything's unique and different and good. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time when I'm trying to give you another experience. And I hope that you'll experience everything until your next experience with me, where I can share my experiences with you. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.